let's set this one into some few announcements. Okay. Uh, number one, um, regarding this, ano, dun sa letter nung ano, nung yung pagiging undersized nung class niyo. Um, as of now, um, tayo try pa namin yano, tayo try namin sa January uh, to ano, to uh, renegotiate yar ano, your um, parang nasa akin ng letter niyo, pero hindi hindi pa namin siya pino forward sa college. Okay, uh, thinking that there is still a way for you to, for us to go on with the class and you not have to pay for it. Parang ganun. Um, we're trying to, ano, we're trying to do that. Okay. But just in case kasi na mag-insist sila, the admin, that uh, we have to, then the, the letter is there. Okay. So, pero sa ngayon, um, hindi pa gumagalaw yung letter niya. Okay. Okay. Uh, dahil ayaw namin paggalawin. Parang ganun yun. <laughs> okay, so that's one, ano, that's one um, thing that you have to understand about that. So, even if nakapirma na kayo din, okay, even if, ito ha, even if nakapirma na kayo din, um, it doesn't necessarily mean na may babayaran na kayo kagad. Okay. Um, as of now, hindi gumagalaw yung letter nyo. And if we are to, if we will be going to push to with this, ano, na hindi gumagalaw yung letter nyo, then wala kayong babayaran. Ganun yung mangyari. Okay, so nasa akin ba yung letter niya? Um, and I'll be, you know, if, if it moves, if, if, if it um, uh, in any way moves out of my hands, ibig sabihin kapag ka kinailangan talaga niyang gumalaw, kinailangan gumalaw yung, ano, yung letter niya, um, then if i-inform ko kayo, kasi that's the time na baka may bera na kayo. Okay, so uh, just remember that as long as the letter is with me, and uh, that um, me and Sir Jandre is not taking any action on that letter. Um, the letter is as dead as it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Parang ganun yung mangyari. Okay. Na, naiintindihan yun? May kausap ba ako? <laughs> or delayed ba? Baka delayed tayo. Exposure as well. Okay. Um, so it's lang. Ah. Okay, so number two, um, second announcement. Um, meron lang link na binigay sa inyo sa ano. Uh, I have a link that uh, I have um, placed on your ano, on your um, on our teams. Ito for your signature. Okay, so click niyo lang yung link. Uh, which should direct you to here, okay, uh, to this uh, Word file. And I want you to sign, uh, if, you're, if, you don't, if it is okay with you, please do sign this, you know, this thing, okay. Ito ako, positive yun talaga ito. <laughs> At um, ako yung medyo may kailangan dito sa part ito. Okay, so if, if you're okay with what it says, um, please, you know, please sign that thing. Okay, and if you're asking where is your course syllabus, or were we able to discuss them? Uh, I would like you to I, I I would like you to be referred back then sa um first session natin. Okay, which I think I discussed these things. Okay, so please sign if you know if you're ready to do so. Okay. Um fill up lang isang word isang row dyan, and then ano. Okay, so okay tayo dito sa pipirmahan niyo. Okay po sir. Okay po sir. Okay, so ayan. Ah, uh, ano pa ba? Ah, okay, so siguro um as of now, yun pala muna yun, yung announcement natin. Okay. Now, um So I understand that ano, I understand that uh, I I have assigned you topic 2 before. Okay. So I hope na ano, na, na um, you were able to ano, you were able to Akala ko mag-a-arrange siya in a sa man. Nakaano pala siya. Uh, wait lang. Uh, i-arrange na rin siya. Ay, ito, tama pala. Okay, so, I I, hope, I have an, uh, I have remembered that I, uh, that I was able to assign you um, these topics uh, before. Uh, in na ano, na you ano, uh, during the asynchronous learning modes that we had, last Friday and this just last Tuesday. 
Okay, so I hope na ano na naka progress kayo with that. But I would like to ano to go back with ano with this one. Okay. So that just to ano um so as to ano to major certain things if uh if in case um it doesn't uh the, the recording uh, the recorded lecture doesn't need the mark on you. Okay. So balik um ang babalikan ko lang is ito ha. Um I, I'll start with um topics uh ano topic uh topics 2.3, 2.4 and 2.5 or sections 2.3, 2.5, 2.5 topic 2 natin. Okay. Um pero medyo ano ko lang to, medyo hindi ganoon ka, ka uh, detailed yung gagawin nating ano, gagawin nating discussion dito kasi nga um this is the second time that you would be hearing it from me. The first one being dun sa recording. Okay. So and then let's ano the, the next week we'll be ano we'll be moving on to ano topic topic 3. Okay. So ayun. So be now that uh, we are ano we supposedly done with ano with it with the Laplace transform. Okay. One thing that you you should have remembered there is yung tinatawag nating ano is that thing that we call the differentiation property of the Laplace transform. Okay. That is when you have ano when you have a Laplace when you have the Laplace transform of the say second derivative of um second derivative of a function okay uh, that equals um, s square times uh, f of s okay minus s times f uh, of uh, of 0 um, minus f prime of 0 okay that's that's uh, that that is how the differentiation property of laplace transform applies to second derivatives of a function okay and for first derivatives the first uh, the laplace transform of the first derivative of a function is s times f of s minus uh, uh, f of 0 okay where we have known okay this is from uh, this is from 2.3 okay may, may review ko lang ng konti uh, where we have known that um itong f of 0 f prime of 0 and f double prime of 0 and so on as it is required on this you know, on this um, property okay are all um, initial conditions okay, these are all initial conditions of your um, of your uh, function okay of your function f of t okay that is the value of f when t is 0 or this is the value of the first derivative of f with uh, when t is 0 and so on. Okay, so initial conditions na tawag natin dyan. Because all of these are determined when your time is 0. So that's the first value, okay, or the initial value of your function. Okay, but in ano, in our analysis of, ano, of um, control systems, um, we will uh, simplify our problem greatly by uh, making the assumption that uh, all system all, all systems that we have to analyze are all at rest. And that means that all, all of the initial conditions your system might have should be equal to zero. Okay? So that's, the, that's one fundamental, uh, fundamental assumption that we will have to do uh, when we deal with control systems. Okay? Now, and in that case, if this, is, uh, no, if this, is, if this assumption is made, uh, is made, okay, then this property or this, ano, this um, properties of your Laplace transform would now reduce to the following. That the Laplace transform of um, the second derivative okay, is simply s squared times f of s. Um, we'll just simply have this f as the, Lapla as the, ano, as the Laplace transform of f of t. Okay? And we know that this uppercase f is um, a function in s. Okay? So we'll, uh, this, this equation now reduces to this one. Okay, and this equation, yung equation na to, uh, yung Laplace transform ng first derivative, okay, reduces to S times F. Okay? Maliwanan ko? Okay, and consequently, kung i-apply nyo to sa higher derivatives, if you, if you apply this on higher derivatives, um, 
this becomes um ano uh the Laplacian's form of um for example uh, the third derivative of f is um s cube times f okay and being or, or making the assumption that the initial conditions are zero then yung mga terms dito that involves um the initial conditions all vanishes away okay and and lastly um malibawa lang uh, the Laplacian's form of the um, nth derivative okay of f okay is simply s raised to n times f and again, all of the initial conditions, uh, all of the terms that, that refer to this initial conditions are all zero. If we make this assumption. Okay. So, which means now that, for example, you have, if, if you have a system, uh, like uh, a system here, okay, having, uh, you know, having an input, okay, um, having an inpu input assigned to the expression R of P and an output assigned to an expression c of t. Okay, I hope na naalala niyo yung ibig sabihin ng r of t and c of t. Because that these are mentioned in ano, these are mentioned in um the previous uh topics, okay? So, kung bakit natin tawag na r of t yan tsaka c of t yan. Okay. So, um if these are your inputs and outputs, then the relationship between ano, between this output and this input is described by this equation. Okay? It is described by this equation. So you know that this is a um, non-homogeneous uh, linear differential equation. Non-homogeneous being this side is non-zero. Okay? Pag kasi zero yung right side ng isang differential equation na katulad nito, we call it a homogeneous equation. But in this case, uh, since this is not the right side is non-zero, so therefore that means that this side is uh, this equation is non-homogeneous. Okay. Now, um, the thing with this equ equation is that um, it doesn't really lend uh, itself uh, open to analysis because kita nyo naman parang komplikado nyo tignan. Okay. So what we do then is we try to apply the Laplace transform to this equation. Okay, and this is how it goes. So by linearity, alam natin na mailalabas natin itong an na to because this is a constant. So this is an. Okay, now what is the Laplace transform of the uh, nth derivative of c? Anong Laplace transform ng nth derivative ng c? Niniscuss natin yan dito kanina. This is the n. Uh, this is the Laplace form of the n derivative of f. Kita nyo? Now, what then is the Laplace form of the n derivative of c? <coughs> Anyone? S raised to n, sir. <coughs> S raised to n? May kulang. Times? F. <coughs> but I'm not using f as a variable here. Ang ginagamit ko ay? T. T. C. Okay. So I'm using C. So ito. Okay. Uppercase yan. Eh. Uh, kung di man obvious, I'm saying it. It's an uppercase. Okay. So, ayan. S, uh, a, a, a n times S raised to n uh, times the function or the Laplace transform C. Okay. Um, this basically means ano, uh, C of S, meaning function na siya ng S kasi nasa Laplace transform na ako. Okay, What's, how about the next term? Ano yung Laplace transform ng next term? Ito. S raised to N minus 1, sir. Uh, pero yung constant muna. This is A. A N, sir. A, A sub N minus 1. Minus 1. Times. <laughs> times S. Raised to N. Raised to, so, n minus 1, sir. Okay, and then times? Times c. C, okay, very good. Okay, and then as we continue along, okay, we will end, we will, uh, we will reach the end of this, ano, of this left side of the equation, okay, which is this one, okay. Uh, so in that case, wala nang derivatives to. 
So this is simply a sub zero, okay, a sub zero times c, okay. And then doing the same at the right side, okay. Pag ginawa natin yung same thing, ilalatas ang form din natin yung right side. What happens is that it becomes uh, b sub n, b sub m, I mean, um, s raised to m uh, times uh, r, okay, times r. Tingnan nyo mo po ito, ha? Ito. Okay, plus, sige, ako lang magtutuloy. Um, this is uh, b sub m minus 1, okay, S raised to M minus 1, okay, times R, okay, and then until that last term here, okay, which is um, B sub O times R, ah, times R, okay. So this is now your entire thing. Okay, ito na yung Laplace form ng equation ninyo dito, ng differential equation ninyo. And then what happens here is that as you can see, on the left side, common yung C. Okay? All of the terms contain the variable of the function C. So therefore, it can be factored out. Okay? So if we factor out, um, ano, if we factor out C out of this, we will have um, A sub N, S raised to N, okay, plus A N minus 1, S raised to N minus 1, and then until we reach the last term, which is a sub zero, and then we will multiply this entire polynomial, okay, to the function c, okay. Again, yung c here means ano, c of s. Kasi baka mamaya magulat kayo isulat ko c of s. Ano? Ah, uh, sa nakuha yung s, okay. Again, I, I'm I'm just writing this in ano in its function name form, okay, and not in the usual functional notation we should have been C of S. Okay? Doon ko siya sinusulat. Para lang medyo hindi kayo ma-ano, ma-overwhelm with the symbols. Okay? So, yan. Let's see. Okay. And then, the right side naman, if you look at the right side, okay, this now, the right side now is, um, is that all terms contain the function R or R of S. Okay? So, it can be factored out also. And if it is factored out, it becomes B sub M, uh, S raised to M, plus b sub m minus 1, s raised to m minus 1, until you reach the end of the term, uh, the end of the polynomial, which becomes simply b sub 0. And then the entire polynomial is then multiplied to r, the function r. Or basically, that's also r of s, katulad dito. That's, that r is a function of s. Okay? Now, what I would like to solve then, okay, I what I would like to do with this, you know, with this thing, is that I would like to solve the ratio C of S, which is this one, okay, over R of S, which is this R, okay, which should, you know, should uh, be, uh, ex uh, which should be expressed as, kasi ito mapupunta sa ilalim, okay, kasi ito ngayon na mapupunta sa ilalim nito, okay, so the numerator then is um, B, sub, B sub M, S raised to M, Okay, minus, uh, plus B sub M minus 1 over S raised to M minus 1. Okay, plus until B sub 0, which is the numerator. Okay, and then the denominator then is A sub N, S raised to N, plus A sub N minus 1, S raised to N minus 1, until A sub 0. Now, this ratio, this um, C over R, and take note that C is the transform of the out, the input the output okay cs is the transform uh, transform of c of t okay the output while r is the transform of the input r of t so lumalabas itong um ratio na to uh, this ratio um R, uh, C over R, is the ratio of the transform of the output over the, tra the transform of the input. So, parang output over input ito. Okay. Pero, the, 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 the ratio is in terms of the respective transforms. Okay. Now, we'll simply assign a, ano, a, um, a an expression or a, a, a symbol to represent this ratio 
Okay, let's try to, to first use G of S for that. Okay. And then we say now that G of S is simply the transfer function of your system. Okay. Yan yung tinatawag ngayon natin transfer function. The transfer function of your system is basically defined as the ratio between the transforms of the output over the input. Okay. And we evaluate this, ano, we evaluate this transfer function, okay, at zero initial condition. Okay. Maliwan again. Okay, I'm talking about this one, yung tungkol sa transfer function. Okay, again, this is the ratio of the transforms of the output over input. Okay, now, in that case, uh, pag titignan natin yan siya ngayon sa block diagram, ito na ngayon magiging itsura ng block diagram ninyo. Okay? Um, if this is, ano, if this is the input, uh, in time domain, that's that input is R of T, and its transform is R of S. Okay? Uh, while the output of this system is C of T, and the transform of C of T is C of S, then this system, instead of being described by a differential equation, okay, it can actually be described by a transfer function. Okay, it is like natin siya ngayon by a transfer function. Okay, and then looking carefully at this relationship, okay, looking carefully at this relationship, we can say that C of S or C is actually equal to R times G. Tingnan ito. With, ano, with the independent variable uh, dropout, okay, you can actually have C okay, equal to the product of G times R. Okay. So that means that the output of the transform, ah, sorry, the transform, <laughs> The transform of the output of the output, which is essentially C, okay, um, equals the product of the transform of the input, which is your R, okay, times the transfer function, which is your G. Okay? At saka, tingin, tingin, tingin nyo mabuti yung black diagram nyo. Take a good look at your black diagram. Isn't it that that black diagram actually suggests this equation? Diba? Kung magpo-flow, kung, kung babasahin nyo yung black diagram nyo ng paganto. Okay? Madaling tandaan tong formula na to. Tama ba? Yes, sir. Okay, so... Ito yung sinasabi natin before about ano, ito yung sinasabi natin before that um, that transfer, uh, expressing the model of your system as a, as a transfer function actually is very intuitive because tingnan nyo naman yung black diagram. The black diagram actually suggests uh, what you may, you, how you may actually find at least first that, ano, the transform of the output. Pero eventually kasi you can apply inverse Laplace transform to this out to this transform of the output in order for you to come up with the actual output in time domain. Kailangan, kailangan lang natin i-apply yung inverse Laplace transform doon sa transform ng output na yun. Pero basically, it all starts with you recognizing the fact that this transform of the output is easily um, verifiable easily found or easily determined as the block, as the block diagram suggests. Okay? Naintindihan yung, ano, yung pinapoint ko? About this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Parang baling, ano, R6, C, 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 D. Ayan. Medyo, may hindi lang ako napikas na, pero, um, yung, si, May hila ko na pick up doon sa point sa ako, pero I felt like, like maybe hindi mo naman siya. <laughs> okay? Uh, medyo mahina lang talaga pandinig ko. <laughs> Kasi na. Okay, so yun. Um, yun na nga. Okay, so let us have an example para mas ma-apply natin siya. 
Okay. Uh, let us find the transfer function associated with this, ano, with this um, differential equation. Okay. And then, let's find the system response. When you say system response, this is the CLT. Yan yung, ano, yan yung output in time domain. That, that, that is what we meant by system response. Okay. And U of T here is a step signal. Okay. And if you may recall, your step signal is defined as a 1, okay, or unity, when T is positive, while it is 0 when T is negative. So it actually models... Uh, this, this signal actually models a, you know, a signal that can represent, say, for example, a switch. That is when you turn your, you know, when you turn your um, system on, okay, there is a constant signal uh, applied to the system. Parang ganito yung itsura niya. Uh, ito yung ginamit namin kanina sa advanced math. So, tutuloy natin dito. Uh, F of T is equal to 1 uh, for... Uh, T greater than equal zero, okay. And um, zero, pwede ba, pwede man dito dito. For uh, T, mukhang the mere fact na na hindi pwede. Uh, yeah. And then, um, the other half of that is that uh, your F of T is equal to zero. Okay, for um, T less than zero. So, as you can see here, okay, as you can see here, your signal, okay, uh, print screen natin to. Then, let's put it here. Saan ko ba lalagay ito? Okay. Uh, yeah. So here, as you can see, this is your no, this is a this is your um signal u of t. Okay. This is the graph of your signal u of t. Okay. As you can see, um, this is ano, uh, this the, the horizontal axis here is identified as t, or basically your ano, uh, your time axis. Okay. So this is how. Uh, ito yung timeline yun. Okay. And the graph shows. What's the value of your signal at any given time? Okay. So in this case, uh, as you can see, the on the blue on this side, okay, when t is negative, okay, you see that the value of your signal is zero. Okay. And then on this uh, on this ano naman, on, on, when, when t is positive, that is when t is equal to zero or greater than zero. Okay. Then your signal has a value of one. Okay. And that is your u of t. So may imagine you that um that this signal is applied. Uh, to ano to a system, it seems like ano it seems like that system is being applied or that in that system is ano is switch on at this moment. Okay, kasi bigla nagkaroon ng signal do sa inyo. Okay, and then that signal is continue is ano is applied uh, in a constant manner to that ano to that system. Okay, so madalas yan yung ano mad uh, tawag natin dito is a step signal. Okay, and most of the time we will be having our system analyzed in terms of that signal. Okay, kaya ang tawag natin sa output, okay, the output of the system, the output of the system uh, to a step signal, okay, is called step response. Okay, so that is why um, when, we, you know, when we talk about, you know, when we talk about step response or if you're being asked to find what the step response is, okay, um, that means that uh, your system is taking a step signal as an input, and therefore you have to refi to find how ma how the system responds to that step signal input. Okay, ready again? Okay, ready ba? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so again, uh, our system is ano? <clears throat> our system is um or has the has the differential equation uh, d c of t uh, over uh, with respect to t. The deri uh, sorry, this is the derivative of ano, of your c with respect to t. Okay, plus um two c or two c of t um equals r of t. Okay. And siguro, um, pwede nyo namang i-rewrite ito that, ano, that, that drops itong independent variable na to, itong t. Okay. Because c and r here are written in its functional notation form. Ah, uh, in its functional notation. Okay. So, therefore, pwede natin i-drop muna itong mga, ano, mga independent variables na to. And thereby, write this as dc over dt um, plus 2c equals r. Okay, and for us to, to be able to solve the transfer function, what is being asked is a transfer function. Okay, um, for us to be able to to, uh, to obtain the transfer function of this one, um, we need to um, find the Laplace transform of this entire thing. Okay, and then using the definition that we have, you know, we have established uh, in the earlier part of this, you know, of this lecture, um, the Laplace transform of this equation is then um, S times C. C here being C of S, okay? So this is being C of S, okay? Plus uh, 2 C, again, C here is C of S, equals R. R here is R of S. Okay, dinadrop pa lang natin yung mga independent variables nila. Okay? Now, the two terms on the le left side has C uh, common to them. Okay, so therefore, that function can be factored out. So we have S times 2, uh, sorry, S plus 2, uh, S plus 2, okay, multiply to the function um, C of S, okay, equals R. Okay, and then, as we have defined, the ratio uh, of the transform of the output over the transform of the input, okay, gives you the transfer function, G of C, uh, G of S, okay? Which, when we actually solve this ratio from here, that should give you 1 over S plus 2. And 1 over S plus 2 is the transfer function of this system. Okay. So if you actually um, represent that system, okay, the, 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 the differential equation of the system is dc uh, over dt plus 2s, uh, 2c uh, equals r. Okay. Um, if you actually represent this system, okay, in a block diagram, okay, um, you may have to, uh, you, you will have the following, okay. So, yung input dito is RT, whose Laplace transform is R of S, okay. The output is C of T. Okay, the output is C of T, whose Laplace transform is C of S, okay. And then, this, this system is described by the transfer function, okay, which is 1 over S plus 2. And so this is how we represent yung, ano, yung system in yung block diagram. Okay. So whenever we are asked to um, have a, re a block diagram rep representation of the system, uh, you can write it this way, with the transfer function inside the block diagram. Okay. Maliwanag to? Go, sir. Okay. Um, now, the second thing that the problem asks us to do is to find the step response or the system response to this input. Okay? And basically, essentially, the, the, what, the, what the problem asks us is to determine its step response. Okay? So, basically, again, pag sinabi yung system response, it's C of T. So we're solving C of T out of uh, here. Okay? We're, we're solving C of T out of here. But again, para ma-solve yung C of T, kailangan nyo muna yung C of S. Since basically at this point, your, uh, your, ano, your system is described as a transfer function. Okay? And as you recall, um, from the block diagram, okay, from the block diagram, you can actually say that C or C of S equals um, R, Okay, times 
a1 over s plus 2. The transfer function. Kasi nga, r times g. The product r times g gives you the function c. Okay? Tama to? Yes, sir. Now, what is r? Ito, ano tong r na to? Remember that r of t okay, is u of t, a step signal. So, kukunin natin yung Laplace transform ito. Okay? And the Laplace, Laplace transform of this one, r of s, or simply r, here, okay, is, ano yung Laplace transform ng step function? Um, nandun to sa, ano, sa, sa, ka, sa previous topic nito, which is itong, ano, Laplace transform review. Nasa table, ano to, ayan, stable siya. So, ano siya? Ayun, 1 over s. 1 over s. Okay, 1 over s. 1 hmm? over s siya, tara. Yes, sir, 1 over s. Okay, so therefore, nasa na ako, ayan. So therefore, one, uh, R of S is 1 over S. Uh, and therefore, C is basically 1 over S times 1 over S plus 2. Or simply, 1 over S times S plus 2. Okay? Which is now the transform of the output. Remember that this is simply the transform okay, of the output. This is just your transformed output. What we're looking for is the output itself. Okay, the output itself is designated as C of T. Okay, so since um, ang meron tayo is C of S, but we need C of T, remember that C of T can be obtained by from C of S by taking its inverse or taking the inverse Laplace transform of C of S. So ibig sabihin, kung ito yung C of S natin, kukulin natin yung inverse Laplace transform nito. Okay, and for us to do that, okay, for us to do that, let us have 1 over s times s plus 2 to be um, expanded in its partial fraction form. So, we expand natin to into its partial fraction. So, we have a over s plus uh, b over s plus 2. And then, um, kung maalala nyo yung cover-up method, okay, um, we can determine a by um, covering up yung denominator ng A from here. So, since S, he, uh, the denominator of A is S, wala kasi yung pantakip ng kamay eh. <laughs> um, paano ba ito? <laughs> um, yeah, mga, ah, basta yun, um, uh, i-drop nyo lang yung ano, i-drop nyo lang dito sa left hand, ano, sa left hand uh, expression yung denominator nung, ano, nung hinahanap nyo. So, if we're looking for A, okay, the denominator of A is S. So, we will drop the factor S here. So, this is simply, this simply becomes 1 over S plus 2. 1 over okay. S plus Yeah. Okay. And then, evaluate this, okay, for uh, what we call uh, the pole associated with this one. Okay. Ang pag sinabi nyo pole, uh, which we will, ano, we will discuss in a later, ano, in a later topic. Okay, it's it actually is the root, root of um, the denominator of a function or roots, ah, because it's a lot of roots. Okay, uh, the root of the denominator of a of a uh, rational function. Okay? If, alimbawa, meron kang rational function uh, whose numerator is n and whose denominator is d. Okay? Um, you, can, ano, you can find the pole by equating the denominator to zero. That is how you find the pole. Maliwanag? Yes po, sir. Okay, in this case, um, since ang concern natin is itong ano, itong um, itong function na to, this is our concern. Okay. Then let's look for the pole of this function by equating its denominator to zero. So that means s is equal to zero. Okay. Therefore, this s equals zero is the root, uh, is the pole of this 
ang function. Okay? And therefore, itong S na to, ang, yung, yung root na to, ang gagamitin natin to substitute to 5A. Okay? Is that clear? Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, how about B? How do we find B? Again, we cover up or we One drop... 1 over S, lang, sir. Okay, very good. Say, 1 over S, when S is equal to? 0, sir. Ay, hindi. <laughs> ano? Again, pole. Pole nito. Ang pole nito ay obtained by equating the denominator. Negative 2 ba yan, sir? Ayan, very good. So, kasi i-equate natin siya sa denominator. Yung, yung denominator nung, ano, nito, i-equate natin sa 0, and then isusolve natin ito for S, which is negative 2. So, yun yung isusubstitute natin dito. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Ano nga yung value nito? Tsaka nito. A is? 1 half. Tapos? 1 half. And then B is? Negative 1 half, sir. Negative 1 half. Very good. Okay. So, yun yung mga values. Okay. So, therefore, C is equivalently equal to? Okay. Kung ang A at B, ito kasi yun. Itong dalawang yun. Okay. And A nyo is 1 half. B is negative 1 half. So, therefore, um, C, this, um, the transformed output is actually equal to 1 half over S minus 1 half over S plus 2. Okay. And then from there, uh, you will be able to get its inverse Laplace transform. Okay. By uh, saying na since ito ay of the form 1 over S. Okay. Ang inverse transform nito is basically the step function. Pero again, uh, in our ano, in our case, uh, we can have our step function equal to 1. Okay, so therefore, ang, ano nito, ang inverse Laplace transform nito is 1 over S multiplied to 1 half. Yung constant na nakamultiply sa kanya. Okay? Maliwanag to? Yes, sir. Okay. While this one, okay, Again, yung 1 half na yan, ilabas muna natin. Okay, and then the inverse of 1 over S plus 2 is essentially E, okay, E raised to negative 2T. Uh, ba't nga pala is ito? Mali, 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 mali ako, mali ako. Sorry, sorry. Ayun, nasa iba kasi yung ano. <laughs> ulit, ulit, ulit. Okay, ulit ah. Um, yung ano, yung 1 over S. Okay. Yung 1 over S dito. Kasi ilalabas ko muna yung 1 half. Okay, and then I'll find the inverse of plus transform of 1 over S. Which is yung nandito nga. Na, yung na, na E1 when I took out 1 half. Okay. And the inverse of plus transform of 1 over S is basically 1. Okay. So that is why ang ilalagay natin doon is dapat 1, hindi 1 over S. Okay. Hinano ko na nga pala yung inverse ng 1 over S. So dapat yun na yung ilalagay ko. Which is dapat 1. Okay. Maliwanag? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, how about here? Again, ilalabas ko yung 1 half because that is a constant, basically. Okay. Um, ang tawag um, I'm now finding the inverse of last transform of 1 over S plus 2. Okay, which, if you can, if you would be reviewing sa previous, sa previous topic, is E raised to negative so, ito nga, yung inverse na ngayon, ngayon na yun is basically e raised to negative 2t. So, therefore, C of t then, the output, this is the actual output then, okay, is 1 half, uh, 1 half minus uh, 1 half e raised to negative 2t. Yan yung output ng system nyo. Okay? Now, um, to, de to demonstrate that, with that idea, um, here, meron akong in-implement na dito na um, pwede nyo gawin sa Simulink. Eh. This, is, uh, this can be done in Simulink. Pero ang ginamit ko kasi dito is yung ano, um, x, cos ng, x cos tool ng, ano, ng Scilab. Okay, ito yung, gina ito, ito yung ginamit at this particular, ano, particular, um, at this, at this particular uh, instance. Okay. Um, paano siya in-implement? Um, basically, uh, this is, uh, th this diagram describes this differential equation. Uh, Nidescribe yun yung differential equation to. Okay. Paano siya nangyari? 
Yan ito. Um, this is C of T, the output. Okay? Now, if you can, ano, you can um, kung titignan itong equation na ito, this C of T is multiplied to 2. So, para maging 2 times C of T siya. Okay? Mahali ba na dyan? Yes, sir. Ito, ito yung pathway na yun. Ito, ito yung, itong pathway na to, Ito yun. Okay. Now, pumasok yan sa summation. Sa, uh, sa, ano, sa summation um, tool o summation block. Okay. Kasama nyo pumasok sa summation block yung R of T. Okay. Kasama nyo pumasok sa summation block yung R of T. Okay. Ah, by the way, negative pa na to. So, essentially, R of T minus 2C of T. Okay. Maliwanag? Yes, okay. So, essentially, ang nangyari dyan is R of T minus 2C of T. Yung inalabas dito. Okay? So, which is, basically, ang lalabas dyan, kung titignan nyo itong equation na to, okay, should have been the derivative of C with respect to T. Kasi parang ito, eh, tatanspose ko lang sa kabilang side. So, therefore, ito yung magiging output niya. Okay? So, yun yung lalabas doon. Ang tanong na lang, what is the connection between this signal and this signal? So, what is, what is basically the connection between DC of T or the derivative of C with respect to T and C of T or basically signal C? Okay. Ano yung connection nilang dalawa? Take note that for you to be able to get C, okay, for you to be able to, be able to get C out of, the deri out of its derivative, Okay, you have to integrate this one. Para makuha niyo itong C, okay, dito sa derivative niya, eh di integrate niyo yung derivative. Because derivatives are inverse operations, uh, sorry, integrals are, de are inverse operations of derivatives. Of, uh, sorry, of differentiation. Okay, integration is an, is an inverse operation of integration, uh, of differentiation. And if you do this operation successively, okay, if you do this operation successively, integration and differentiation, okay, they cancel each other out. So therefore, the integral of the derivative of C is basically C. So that is why gumamit tayo ng integrator dito. Okay? So makikita nyo ngayon, ito, yung, yung ito, itong, ano na to, itong black diagram na to, is essentially a, an implementation of this Differential equation. Okay? Maliwanag? Now, given na ito nga ay step input, okay, uh, step signal yan, okay. given that that is a step input, okay, we can measure here the output kasi ano ito C of T. Eh. So we can measure C of T there, uh, out of there. Okay. Um, if you measure C of T out of there, ito yung lalabas. Pag nirun ko yun, ito yung lalabas. Okay, yun yung lalabas. So, makikita nyo that uh, the signal, okay, from zero, um, goes all the way up to its settling value. Where at that point, it becomes constant. Okay. And that value is around 1 half or 0.5. Sorry. So, one half yung settling value niya. Okay? And we have obtained this graph by implementing the differential equation. If you actually graph, I'll go, i-graph natin yung ano, no? Um, i-graph natin in terms of ano, the output expression na nakuha natin. Kasi, again, ha, ulitin ko, ito ay nakuha using an implementation of your differential equation. So, ibig sabihin sa differential equation natin siya kinuha. Okay, minodel lang natin yung differential equation natin using x cos. Pero pwede nyo gawin, pwede nyo subukan sa simulink ka, iba lang yung mga symbols, pero hanapin nyo yung same components. Uh, step input or step signal, um, uh, summing block or summing junction, okay, integrator, okay, and then, naglagay lang kayo ng scoop dun sa output niyo, Okay? That's how you, ano, that's ito, ano, um, gain. Okay, so, and that's how you can actually implement this thing in 
Simulink. Medyo iba lang yung symbol, symbolism sa ginagamit sa Simulink. Pero essentially, ganito rin yung black diagram niya. Okay? Now, um, we obtain this, ano, the, the second, ano, second graph by um, directly graphing yung expression na nakuha natin in time domain, which is this one. So, pag rin up natin si, ano, si C equals 1 half minus 1 half E ratio negative 2T. Okay, ito yung lalabas. Uh, we have uh, one half uh, minus uh, one half uh, e raised to uh, negative two t uh, for t greater than equal zero. Again, yun ang assumption natin. Na i-analyze lang natin is yung right half ng ano ng time domain natin. Okay, and as you may be able to take note, okay, ito yung behavior ng output ninyo. O ng step response, this essentially is a step response. Okay, wherein, yung magiging final value ng output ninyo. Okay, is, nakita nyo? Palapit ng palapit sa 0.5. Okay, it starts from here. Okay, starts from zero, and then eventually rises up until makarating siya ng 0.5. Okay? So that actually confirms yung nakuha nating value or nakuha nating expression for ano. Kasi nakita nyo, whether we implement this thing, okay, or we implement the um, differential equation model of your system, or we, we, we ano, we obtain the output using the actual output, the expression for the output, we are getting the same signal. Okay? We, are, we are getting the same behavior. So therefore, we are confident that this is correct. Okay? Is this clear? Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. So that, ano, that, um, that presents now your, ano, your transfer function. At kung paano nakukuha yung transfer function galing sa differential equation. Okay, and then what's the relationship between um, the output of the system, the transform of the output of the system, the transfer function, and the transform of the input of the system, and the input itself. Okay, so na na nabanggitan natin dyan yung relationship ng RT, na gagawin nating RS, okay, na essentially related sa C of S, okay, uh, with the expression R of S uh, times G of S, okay, which related now sa C of T, itong C of S natin. Okay? So, kailangan din natin kasi makuha yung C of T at, one po, at, at some points. Kailangan natin makuha yung actual output. It's, not, it, it, it's just not enough na alam lang natin yung C of S. Kasi for us, C of S wouldn't make sense. Wala namang sense sa atin ng C of S. Eh. Okay? Ang may sense sa atin, C of T. Okay? So, that is why, kung makuha man natin yung C of S, it's more or less likely that you'll be, you'd be asked to determine what is your T. Okay? Is that clear? Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, now we proceed with, ano, with, um, with uh, the transfer function of electrical networks. Okay? Um, hahati natin yung dalawa. Hahati natin yung discussion nito sa dalawa. Okay? Yung isa um, deals with, uh, this one, deals with passive networks. Okay? And the other, uh, the other one deals with passive net, uh, with active networks. Okay, when you say a network is passive. Okay, when you say that an, when, when a network is passive, uh, it means all of its components are passive components. Okay, and when a, when a component is passive, it means it doesn't have its own power supply, and it only relies on the supply of the circuit to do its work. Dali lang, ah. Wait lang. Ayun, bigla ako nasa mid. <laughs> okay. Um, Nasaan na nga ba ako? Ayun. Um, para mas maintindihan niyo yung, ano, yung sinasabi ko, we actually would like to define active devices first. Okay. Um, examples of active devices are, ito, are, 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 ano, are the following. Ito yung mga example ng active devices nyo. Okay. Um, halimbawa, uh, uh, 
Okay. Halimbawa, transistor, whether it's BJT or uh, FETs, basta transistor, um, op-amps, okay. these are active devices or active components. Okay. Mapapansin nyo, kapag ka, ano, kapag ka ginagamit nyo ang transistor or op-amps, yung mga yan, meron yung sariling power supply. Okay? Kung nakagamit na kayo, nakagamit naman na siguro yung transistor tsaka ng op-amps sa project nyo, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And you may, ano, you may observe na yung dalawang yun, whether you use uh, transistors or op-amps, meron yung sariling power supply. For example, ang op-amp nyo, bukod sa meron siyang input signals, Okay, that is fed to the invert to the non-inverting tsaka inverting terminal. Okay, meron niyang power supply na kinakabit somewhere. Okay, usually um, plus or my, plus 5 volts sa, sa isang side, uh, negative 5 volts sa kabilang side, o kaya pwede rin 12 volts. Okay, um, pwede rin 25 volts, depende sa ano, depende sa op-up ninyo kung para saan siya. Okay, so meron din sa release yung power supply. So, yung components, components that are ano, that are like that, Okay, are called active components. Okay, because they require their own power supply to do their work. Okay, kapag ang component, kapag ang component yung hindi ganyan, wala siyang power supply ng sarili. Okay, that component is called a passive device or a passive component. Okay, and if the circuit or if the net electrical network contains purely passive components, that network is considered passive network. Okay, maliwanag? Okay. So, ito yung ano, ito yung mga passive components nyo. Ayan. Yung tatlo na yan. Uh, capacitor, inductor, tsaka resistor. Okay. Now, in this, ano, in this analysis of, ano, analysis of systems, uh, medyo siya sure kaya kailangan siya ng konti, ah, but I think pinaliwanan ko naman yata siya dun sa, ano, dun sa lecture video. Pero, tata may tatalo na ako mga ilang parte dito. Okay. Pero, here, here's the idea. Here's the main idea. What we will do when we analyze, ano, uh, what we, we, we will, ano, we will do when analyzing, um, electrical networks is that um, we will convert uh, the ano, the parameters okay we will convert the parameters given in that network into impedances in Laplace domain okay iko convert natin sila sa impedances in Laplace domain okay uh, and if you defa uh, sige uh, if you sabihin, um kung makita kayo ng capacitor whose capacitance is C papalitan natin siya ng impedance na equivalent sa 1 over CS. Okay? Kung meron kayo nakikita ang resistor sa circuit, yung resistor the parameter, okay, papalitan natin ng um, impedance sa S domain, which is basically R din. Okay? And ganun din sa inductor. LS naman ay papalit natin. Okay? Uh, Pakireview lang yung ano, ha, mga set of units. Kasi baka mamaya sagot tayo, sagot tayo ng sagot ng mga problems involving this. And then, hindi naman natin ni-specify yung mga units nung mga sinusolve natin. Okay? So, that is how, that, 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 that is how we will do it uh, in this, uh, in this, ano, in this um, course. Okay? Um, papaitan natin lahat ng, ano, lahat ng components. Okay? Into, uh, into their ano, impedances in uh, S domain or in Laplace transform domain. Also, kung meron kayong signal na V of T, which is your voltage source, Okay, papalitan, na natin, papalitan din natin yan ng V of S, which is the voltage in Laplace transform. At kung kinoconsider nyo naman is yung current I of T, okay, we will use instead its Laplace transform function, I of S. Okay, maliwanag ba ito? Okay, sir. Okay, so halimbawa tingnan natin ito, no? itong circuit na to. So nakita natin that um pwedeng pa muna i-edit eh. Ang liit kasi ng circuit. <laughs> Ayan. Palakihin natin siya. Okay. So um So nakita this is ano, this is a circuit RLC circuit. <laughs> Ang pangit sinabi ko. This is a series RLC. Okay. Uh, and as you, as we have, ano, as we have um, stated just right now, 
lahat ng mga parameters ng circuit niyo, L, R, and C. These are parameters. Okay. Um, papaitan natin yan ng um, impedances in Laplace transform. That is, we will change L to L of S. Okay. We will change R to R. Okay. And then we will change C to 1 over CS. And then from there, um, we will have to change V of T to V of S. Okay. Yung current na to as I of S. Okay. And then itong VC of T na to as VC of S. Okay. Lahat ng mga nandito, mga upper, ito ha, ito upper case yan, ito upper case I, ito upper case V. Okay. So, lalagay natin R. So, in, a sen in essence, parang, parang um, nila plus transform ko yung, ano, yung circuit. Okay. In essence, ha. I have taken the Laplace transform of the circuit. Okay? Is that clear? Yung initial step dito? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, now, we proceed with um, the normal, the usual, ano, the usual analysis, ano, analysis um, method that we can, ano, we can apply here. Um, ang pinatahanan kasi sa atin is basically, uh, the transfer function that relates the capacitor voltage to the input voltage. Okay, so basically, ang pinapahanap sa atin is the ratio uh, VC of S over VS. Okay? So, yun yung pinapahanap sa atin. So, essentially, kung ang pinapahanap sa atin is VC of S at saka V uh, over V. Okay? Um, in, this, ano, in this particular circuit, in this particular circuit, um, masasolve natin yung VC of S using voltage divider. Okay, we can solve this, ano, we can solve this uh, VC of S using uh, voltage uh, divider. Okay. Um, and essentially, because this is a series circuit, so kapag series circuit yan, um, voltage is being divided proportionally among the components. Kaya meron tayong voltage divider theorem. Okay. So, eh, yung circuit naman uh, lends itself to be analyzed using the voltage, uh, voltage divider essentially because this is a series circuit. So, therefore, using the voltage divider, we can actually solve for VC of S okay, uh, as uh, the total voltage, which is, uh, itadrop ko muna yung mga, ano, yung mga S as a, ano, S as um, independent variable. Okay, so instead of, ano, instead of saying VC of S, uh, at this point, I'll, I'll temporarily say that's just simply VC. So ito, ito ha, can be said on, only, uh, as of, uh, right, no? can only be, ano, can be assigned as VC only at this particular point. Okay, so gagawin natin VC, itong IS gagawin natin I, and itong VS gagawin natin V. Okay, para di masyad nakakalito. Okay, so now VC is equal to the total voltage, which is V. Okay, times the ratio of um, the impedance on the VC, uh, uh, impedance on the capacitor. Essentially, kasi hinahanapan natin yung voltage across the capacitor. Okay, so uh, uh, ang numerator nito is yung impedance ng component na hinahanapan natin ng voltage. Okay, is that clear? Yes, so, may, alam yes, po, sir, yes po. Po. Alam niyo to kasi uh, circuits naman ito. Okay, medyo bago lang yung mga ano kasi naka-Laplace transform siya. So this is 1 over CS plus uh, over the denominator sa total impedance of the circuit which is um, LS plus R plus 1 over CS. Okay, and then um, we simply have to simplify this. Okay, simplify natin siya. Um, by first multiplying the denominator with CS and that should also require us to multiply the denominator with CS. Okay? So, multiply natin yung... Let's multiply this uh, this thing by um, CS. Sorry. Uh, CS over CS. So, 1 ang ratio nito. So, basically, wala tayong ginagawa natin. 
So this basic uh, this doesn't change the value of your no, of your expression. So this is v uh, times um, this is one. Okay, so that is one. Okay, this becomes LC S squared okay, plus um, RC S plus one. Okay, and then what we need to solve is you know, the ratio of VC over V, okay, which can be obtained by dividing both sides by V. Pag dinivide nyo to by V at dinivide nyo to by V, okay, yung V dito magka-cancel out with the V that you have used to divide it. Okay? So, magiging ano to? Um, 1 over LCS square plus 1 over, uh, plus RCS plus 1. And that would be your transfer function na hinahanap. Ito yung natin, VC over V. Or essentially, VCS over VS. Okay? Now, um, if it is convenient, kung medyo convenient naman para sa atin, um, madalas kasi ang kailangan sa transfer function nyo is that the leading coefficient of the denominator is 1. Okay? Usually, yun yung, ano, yun yung, yung mas kailangan natin sa, ano, sa further, ano, further analysis nitong mga transfer functions ito. We need to have our, the, we need to have the leading coefficient of the denominator equal to 1. And if it is convenient for us to do that, then let's do that. Okay? So, para magawa natin yun in this case, um, let's divide everything by LC. So, that means that I have to multiply the numerator by 1 over LC. And then, I also have to, to, to multiply the denominator by 1 over LC. Para kapag ito, na-multiply dito, okay, the product, the, the product of the, ano, the coefficients becomes, become 1. Okay? So, essentially, magiging magiging transfer function natin is 1 over LC divided by S square plus R uh, R over L times S okay, plus 1 over LC. Okay? So, ito ngayon yung final transfer function natin. Is this clear? Masagot. Okay. Uh, now, if you have, if you have, um, if you have an electrical network composed of multiple loops or multiple, um, yeah, multiple loops, um, apply natin siya ng mesh analysis. Okay. We will, ano, we will apply a mesh analysis to, ano, to, to that kind of network. Okay. Um, essentially, pwede natin siyang subukan dito. Okay. Uh, subukan natin siya dun sa, sa, sa circuit na to. Okay. So Again, yung v, VT, gagawin natin VS. Okay? Ah, uh, yung I1T, gawin natin I1S. Okay, yung I2T, gawin natin I2S. Um L here becomes LS. C here becomes 1 over CS. And then R1 becomes R1 in Laplace transform and R2 becomes R2 in Laplace transform. Okay. Um, since this uh, circuit is composed, of, uh, is composed of two networks, okay, gagawa tayo ng mesh analysis. Pero ganito yung gagawin natin sa, ano? Ganito yung gagawin natin sa mesh analysis. We will have to use this pattern. Okay. Um, kung medyo, ano, kung medyo master nyo na yung, ano, kung medyo master nyo na yung pag-generate ng, ano, ng mesh equations, in uh, multiple loop um, electrical networks, um, you would be able to not notice that they would actually provide a pattern. Yung ano, yung mga nakukuha nyo sa ano, yung mga nakukuha nyo sa sa uh, mesh, uh, mesh equation, yung nakukuha nyo mesh equations, meron yung pattern in every ano, in every um, network that you analyze. Okay, and that pattern is uh, actually boils down into this, into this ano, into this uh, statement. So, paano yung statement na yan? Um, essentially, kung meron kayong two loop equations, okay, if you have two, uh, if you have, if, uh, sorry, if you have a two loop um, electrical network, 
meron kayong dalawang currents doon, I1 and I2. Okay. Now, if you're ano, if you're um doing an equation on ano, on a loop whose main current is I1, okay? Then we will find that sum of impedances around mesh 1. Okay, here. And then here we will find the sum of impedances of uh, that, that is common to I1 and I2. Okay, and that common impedances would carry a negative sign. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ang hinahanap yung sum of impedances is common only okay, to um, the current flowing to that loop and then to the other currents, okay, that carries a negative sign. Okay? In the same manner, um, if you are in loop 2 where I2 is the main current, okay, yung sum ng, sum, sum ng impedances niyan is signed as positive. Whereas the other, ano, the other uh, sum of impedances has a negative sign. Okay. Naintindihan yung, ano, yung pattern na yan? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's the left side of the, ano, of the equation. The right side com is, ano, is composed of, ano, is composed of the sum of applied voltages. So basically, mga EMFs ito that you can find uh, on the loops. And if you can find any su any ano, supply or any EMFs on that particular loop, then this becomes zero. Pag wala ka, pag walang EMF na nakakonect dun sa ano, dun sa loop na yun. Okay, the value of this is zero. Okay, so let's apply that ano, that knowledge here. Okay, so let us, ito yung loop one. Okay, this is loop two. Okay, now, um, Let's establish yung ano yung mesh equation around loop 1. So take note na ang current dito is I1. Okay? And in that case, kung I1 ito, okay? Ay kung ang ina-analyze natin sa loop 1 has the current I1, then the sum of impedances that uh, that I1 should be multiplied to is positive. And then the rest of the other impedances should be negative. Okay? So ngayon, um yung mga impedances that that ano that uh that is uh, associated with loop 1 are R1 and LS. Tama? Yan yung mga impedances dyan. Okay. And, then, and then we multiplied it with the current flowing through that loop. Okay. And then we take note that ano, we take note that this should carry a positive sign. Kasi yung current, it, this, this is the sum of impedances that is multiplied to I1 and I1 being the current flowing in the loop 1. Tandaan nyo, nasa loop 1 tayo. Okay, we are, we are, uh, we are getting the mesh equations for, uh, mesh equation for loop 1. Okay, so the rest of the impedances are now signed negative. Okay, for example, um, if we actually take a look at the common, ano, common impedance, okay, that, that uh, common impedance between this loop and then this loop, which is this one. Okay. So, LS yung sum of uh, impedances that is common to I1 and the other current. And that should carry a negative sign. Kasi nga, ito na yung positive eh. So, the rest should be negative. So, this is LS times I2. And then, dalawa lang naman yung currents natin, I1 and I2. So, we proceed now with the right side of the equation which as as ano yung total EMFs applied in loop 1 so here we can see that in loop 1 we have a voltage source so which is now then uh, simply v of s or v okay notice ah, kapag ano kapag ka nag-generate ako ng equation yung mga of s of s na yon dinadrop ko muna Ibabalik ko na lang siya sa bandang dulo pagka medyo comfortable na siyang isulat. Okay? But I hope that ano that um you were able to ano to be clear about this ano this idea. Okay? Of getting um the mesh equation okay using this method. Okay, how about for loop 2? Okay, for loop 2 I2 flows. Okay? Uh, I2 flows here. So therefore, um, the impedances connected to other currents, 
that needs to be in this equation should be associated with a negative sign. Okay, for example, yung I1, which is basically on the other loop, okay, uh, we have to multiply I1 with the, the impedance that is common to I1 and I2. And that essentially is LS. Okay, again, yung common sa I1 at I2. Yun yung ilalagay natin dito. Again, we're considering loop 2 here. So the main current here is I2. Okay? So here, um, the common impedance between uh, I1 and I2 is basically ito rin. LS. Okay? And essentially, that LS should carry a negative sign. Okay? It should carry a negative sign. Okay? And then, um, here, we find the impedances um, that needs to be multiplied to, ano, to I2. Teka, kulang yung space ko. Okay. Um, yung aso, yung uh, um, impedances okay, that are connected in loop 2, okay, which is to, multiply, to be multiplied to I2. And that should carry a positive sign. Okay, and, that, and those impedances are um, R2 plus LS plus 1 over CS. Okay, and then we multiply this thing with I2. Okay, and then equate it to the EMF that is connected in this loop. May EMF ba dito sa loop na to? May nakikita ba tayong EMF? May nakita pa tayong voltage source dito? So, mukhang wala naman, di ba? Okay, so kung wala naman tayong nakikita ng ano, wala naman tayong nakikita ng voltage source dito, then we can simply say that that is zero. Okay, and that is now your mesh equations for this network. Okay, now here, um, the problem now boils down to solving um, either ano, either of the two ano, two a a currents. Okay, but for us to be able to determine which current needs to be ano, which which current needs to be solved for. Okay, we look at the problem here in which um, actually the problem asks for us to solve this ratio. So it's obviously is asking us to solve for I two. Okay. Uh, obviously, dito sinasabi niya, isolve mo yung I2 kasi I2 over V yung sinasabi niya, uh, pinapasolve niya sa'yo eh. Okay? So, kung isolve natin yung I2, this is how we solve it. We solve it using um, Kramer's rule. Okay? We solve it using Kramer's rule. And, um, if you're actually, you know, if you actually have gone through with, ano, with the activity, kung nakainol naman kayo sa lab, di ba? Okay, if you if you actually have gone through that activity of ano um ay, hindi pa nasa system modeling yun eh. So parang activity 3. Okay, nasa activity 3 yun. Um there ano there uh Kramer's rule is actually discussed in that ano in that topic. Okay. Kramer's rule is actually discussed in that topic. Pero basically ganito gagawin natin sa Kramer's rule. Okay, first let's look for ano. Let's let, let's look for the matrix D or the determinant D. Okay, which is basically the, the determinant formed by the matrix of the coefficients. Okay, so yung D dito is basically R1, okay, R1 uh, plus LS, and then negative LS, okay, and then negative LS, and then R2 um, plus LS um, plus 1 over CS. We'll evaluate that determinant. Okay. So, ayan. Now, um, manually, okay, manually, um, ang pag-evaluate ng determinant na yan is this way. Ay lang, buksan natin ito. Manually, uh, we evaluate that, ano, that, um, that product this way. Uh, ito, we multiply this, okay, and then we multiply this. 
and then we subtract the two. So ito yung um ito positive to. Ito negative to. Okay? Maliwanag to? Okay. So sige. Um um basically that is um R1 plus LS. Okay? R1 plus LS times R2 R2 plus LS plus 1 over CS that's yung ano uh, main diagonal and then the opposite diagonal is basically negative um, LS okay uh, neg negative of negative LS times uh, negative LS so natin negative negative LS times negative uh, LS so essentially, ito, positive LS to. Okay. So if you actually carry out the, ano, the product, uh, we will have R1, R2 times uh, a plus uh, R1 LS okay, plus R1 over CS plus um, R2 LS. Uh, uh, yeah, R2 LS. Um, plus... Uh, L square, S square, okay, plus L over C. Okay, hopefully, yung sundan nyo to. Okay, uh, minus um, L square, S square. And at the onset, we can have this equal to zero. The, those terms equal to zero. Okay, now just to, ano, just to simply get rid of the, ano, of the denominator there. We multiply everything by C. O parang essentially, magkakaroon tayo ng ano, ng, um, uh, ay, sige, mamaya na. O, hayaan nyo muna siya yun. <laughs> mamaya na lang, kasi may isa pa tayong hanapin eh. Okay, um, uh, let's leave it that at first. Ganyan muna. Okay. Now, the next thing that we have to find, okay, is what we call, um, since we're solving for I2, no? We'll, 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 we'll be looking for D I2. Okay. What is di2? It's actually a determinant also. Um, but you can ano, you can actually base that determinant from here. Pwede natin i-base this di2 from this determinant. Okay, by take note, ha, this column are coefficients of i1. Okay? This column in this in this ano, in this determinant, this column is uh, 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 this column, the first column are coefficients of I1. Tingnan nyo dito. Okay? So, these are the coefficients of I1. While, this second column are coefficients of I2. Okay. If you're solving for I2, if you're solving for I2, we have to replace all coefficients of I2, okay, in this determinant with the right side, uh, the right side um, quantities. Kung ano yung mga quantities na nasa right side, which in this case, V for the first row and zero for the second row. Okay, so ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung di2, we have to replace this column with v and zero. And of course, we retain r1 plus ls and then negative ls here. Okay, naiintindihan ba ito? Yes, sir. Okay. So now the product here is uh, the, the determinant here is simply oops okay, the, the determinant here uh, is simply this is zero and this is positive uh, this is negative of negative ls times v so th that is simply uh, positive uh, v times ls. So that's your di2. Okay? Maliwanag? Okay. Now, i2 din, para ma masolve nyo nga yung i2. Pag nakuha nyo yung dalawang yan, masasolve nyo na yung i2. Okay? Which is, uh, i2 then is basically the ratio of di2 I2, the determinant associated with I2, divided by the determinant, the, the determinant of the 
equations. So, i-ratio natin yung dalawang yan. Okay? Uh, so, this is um, di2 is VLS. Okay? Uh, v times LS. And then, the, this, this, ano, this D is this entire thing. Okay, so, so natin siya isa-isa. R, R1, R2 plus R1, L, S plus uh, R1 over C, S um, plus R2, L, S plus LC. Okay, and then we attempt to multiply the numerator by C as well as the denominator para lang makancel natin yung, ano, yung C as a term. Okay, so let, this becomes uh, V L C S divided by um, parang nawawal, may nawawalan term. <laughs> May nawawala nga ako. Uh, this one, uh, R1 LS and then R1 over CS. Ah, alam ko na. Mali pala yung product. Mali pala yung ito. Uh, this is, ano, sorry. This is, um, kaya pala sabi pa may nawawala ito. Um, this is uh, R1 over CS pala. Okay, hindi C times S. Uh, ayan, hindi R1 over C times S. Ayan, ito. So, this is, then this is um, R2 LS. This is L, L square S square. And then this is uh, R, uh, L over C. Oh, ayan. So, this is ano, uh, R1 C... R1 over CS. Okay. So, ang pumultiply natin sa kanya instead is um, CS. We multiply this by CS. Kasi ang gusto natin i-cancel dito is ito, entire thing. And take note lang na kapag ito, minultiply ko sa L over C, at least wala pa rin tong fraction. Okay? So, I'll multiply this by, ano, by CS to eliminate all the fractions here. Okay? And then, then this is a numerator. And then, if we multiply this, this becomes LCS square instead. Okay? Now, um, multiply, carry out the multiplication, we will have um, R1, R2 um, times CS, okay? Plus um, R1 C LS square, tama? Pakisabi nila pag gano'n, pag meron akong mali ah. Para hindi tayo masyadong lumalayo para na mali pala yung results natin. Okay. Plus um, R1 Okay. Plus um, R2 LCS square R2 LCS square um, Plus LS Okay. And then if you ano if you simplify this further um, since we recognize now that actually your denominator is a polynomial okay uh, second degree polynomial yung ating denominator okay uh, so then we now have i2 okay as yung denominator sulit muna natin lahat ng L, lahat ng s square okay let's write this as ano Let's write this as um, LC S square. So we have R1 plus R2 times LC S square. Okay. So ito yun, tsaka to. Next we have um, L plus R1 R2 C S. Okay. Ito yun. Ito Tsaka to. So, ang natira is yung R1. Okay. Now, essentially, we're looking for the transfer function I2 over T. Okay. Yun ang pinapahanap nung, ano, nung problem sa atin. I2 over T. Okay. I2 over T. So, what we do 
is um, we divide na lang, if, if, if you actually divide this right side with B, okay, uh, this and this cancel each other out. Tapos yung, right, yung left side niyo magkakaroon din ng V sa denominator. And then ito na yung I2 over V. So sa numerator to may iwan na lang is LC S squared. Okay? So therefore, the transfer function that we have, okay, H1S, let's write it as H1S, okay, is equal to I2 S over V of S. Okay, is equal now to, yan, uh, LC S square divided by uh, R1 plus R2 LC S square plus L plus R1 R2 C uh, times S uh, plus R1. Okay? Yan ba yung sagot nandito? Abang yun naman. Okay, so, we, you know, ito yung sagot naman niya siguro. Okay. So, there. <clears throat> so, that's how we, ano, that's how we obtain this, ano, this uh, transfer function. Okay. Um, now, if, ano, if what is being asked instead is H2. Okay, H2 is um, VC over V. Okay, voltage yung tinatanong. Um, you can still use Kramer's rule for that. Okay. Actually, pinapahanap niya yung, ano, pinapahanap niya yung VC over V using nodal analysis. Okay. But in this case, uh, let's instead use mesh analysis pa rin. Okay. And wag na tayong mag, ano, wag na tayong mag-attempt na mag, ano pa, mag, uh, maghanap pa ng ibang method dito. Okay. Let's just be consistent in using the mesh analysis. Okay. So now, um, we, ano, we instead, ano, we instead um, use mesh analysis to find VC over V. Okay? Um, magagamit nyo pa rin naman yung, ano, yung results ng mesh analysis niyo, Yung mesh equations niyo, You can use this still. Okay? You can use still this, ano, this um, method. Okay? This, ano, Kramer's rule. Okay? Um, but instead, since ang pinapanap sa atin is voltage, then what we do, okay, what we do is we find the associated voltage dun sa current na yun. Okay? And by Ohm's law, recall that by Ohm's law, voltage equals current times the impedance of the component that we are considering. Okay? So, if you're looking for VC here, pag hinanap nyo yung VC dito, okay, um, since alam naman natin yung impedance niya, which is 1 over CS, what we need to do is to find the current flowing through this. Okay? Hanapin natin yung current that is flowing through this uh, capacitor. And that current is basically I2. So therefore, you can say that VC equals I2 times the impedance of the capacitor, which is 1 over CS. Okay? And that is your VC. Okay? And luckily, and fortunately, I2 yung hinanap natin dito. So, para mahanap natin ngayon yung VC, yung, yung, yung H2, okay, yung H2S, which is um, VC of S over uh, V of S, okay, then we simply replace I2 here with uh, an equation that relates I2 and VC. For example, nasabi nga natin, nabanggit nga natin that VC equals I2 times 1 over CS. Okay, and that implies, okay, what that implies, that I2 is equal to VC times CS. So ngayon, itong I2 na to, iparit natin dun. Okay, iparit natin siya dun. So that becomes, okay, this one becomes, um, okay, ay, wag, wag pala, <laughs> joke lang. Um, uh, ito, yung I2 over, yung I2 over B natin becomes, um, VC uh, times CS uh, divided by uh, V. Again, this happened because I replaced I2 here with this one. Pinitang ko tong I2 na to, itong VC times CS. Okay? So, what is its effect here is that um, 
Okay, so let's uh, This is LC S square divided by um, R1 plus R2 times LC times LC S square plus L plus R1 R2 C times S plus R1. Okay? And as you can see, pag sinimplify nyo to, if I actually divide both sides by CS, pag ito, dinivide ko ng CS, ito, dinivide ko rin ng CS. Okay? This CS here and this CS here cancel each other out, leaving us with BC over V, yung hinahanap natin. Okay? So therefore, H2 of S equals VC of S over V. Okay? equals um, on the right side naman this C here ayun, this uh, C here and this C here cancel each uh, each other out and S here and another S here okay, cancel each other out okay, so may iwan ngayon sa taas nyan is LS okay, and then the denominator is um, R1 plus R2 okay, R1 plus R2 times LCS square plus um, L plus R1 R2 C S plus R1. So, medyo iba yung form nung answer na to kaysa dito. Okay. Because this answer okay, because this answer was obtained using nodal analysis. Okay. Pero, if you actually manipulate this okay if you actually manipulate this so that all the fractions here are eliminated pag ineliminate yung lahat ng fractions dyan okay by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by necessary um, expression so that the denominator in the denom uh, that, so that the denominators in the denominator of this main fraction is eliminated uh, I bet na mapupunta rin kayo sa expression na to Okay? So, ayun. Magkaiba lang sila ng expression kasi magkaiba sila ng method na pinagdaanan. Pero essentially, equal yung dalawang yan. Those expressions are equal. Okay? So, may questions ba? Ayan. Parang gumagawa lang ako ng recording dito. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Tawag dito. Um, again, ang ang ano, ang sinabi ko kanina sa ano, sinabi ko kanina sa earlier ano ko, earlier discussion ko that um, it's a common thing for us to express this transfer function in a way that the leading coefficient is 1. Pero gawin lang natin 'yun if it is really ano, mathematically convenient for us to do so. Pag hindi naman katulad nito, wag na lang, hayaan na lang natin siyang ganyan. Okay? So in any case, wala rin naman kayo maka-cancel out eh. Um, wala naman kayo maka-cancel out dito sa uh, mga ibang terms. So let's leave it this way. And let's leave this leave this one, leave this that one that way. Okay. So ayan. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you will be able to apply um that ano that idea. Okay. Pwede nating i-apply yung idea nung ano nung nito sa ano sa mas malaking circuits like for example ito um three ano three loop network yan. This is a three loop network. Okay. In which um you'd be able to ano you'd be able to find three equations. Okay, for one ah uh, ito yung para sa loop 1. Okay, this is for loop 2. And this is for loop 3. Okay. Uh, use, use the same idea as we had in the previous example. Para may apply nyo siya din sa circuit na to and come up with this equation. Okay. And this is something that you have to, ano, you have to practice doing. Kasi kapag, ano, pag ito ay hindi nyo na, ano, nadaanan or hindi nyo na kuha ito. Then, um, in the future, we will, you, we, we might have difficulties. Kasi isa to sa mga, ano, isa to sa mga main topics ng, ano, uh, we are on system modeling, so therefore, 
it's the, this is the first step in analyzing systems. Pag hindi natin alam kung paano i-model yung system natin, then we will not be able to analyze anything at all. Okay? So hopefully this is ano, this is something that you have to ano to pay attention to and um, try to practice doing. Okay? So here, ito na lang. Um, let's work on this ano, work on this example. Um Ay, hindi, ito na lang. Um, this example naman was solved using ano eh. Uh, this example naman was solved in the ano in the recorded video. So I think ano you can refer it uh, to that to, to to that ano to that um, video in which this one is, is solved. Okay. And um meron available pa naman yata to. <laughs> available ba to? Parang hindi pala siya clickable. Nilagay ko lang siya. Anyway, um ayun, um you can ano, you can refer to ano to that ano solution video, uh, to that video for the solution of this one. Okay? So ayun, hindi ko alam kung wala pa wala na kayo diyan or andiyan pa kayo nakikinig. Basta magtutuloy-tuloy lang ako. <laughs> wala na kasi nagre-react sa inyo. <laughs> dito pa okay. dito pa naman sir. So ayun. Um let's proceed with, ano, with um with the transfer function of, ano, of uh, electrical networks, but this time um, for operational amplifiers naman. Okay. Um, for, uh, again, um, uh, we consider operational amplifiers as active circuits. Okay. We, we consider uh, operational amplifiers as active circuits. So, um, <clears throat> we, I know, we consider or we if we you know if we actually take a look at the characteristics of your of your operation and amplifiers um this uh four uh things would stand out okay so actually ano um yan yung ano yan yung uh, mga bagay about your op operation and amplifiers that's, that has been very ano that has been very useful to them that is why napakalaki ng usefulness ng ano ng um, op amps when it comes to ano to um, circuits okay especially as ano as controllers sa mga natin sa mga control systems natin okay so uh, una meron silang differential input okay if you uh, if you ano if you put into signals dun sa non inverting ah, sorry sa inverting at saka sa non inverting terminals niya uh, you would get the difference of these two signals. Okay. Uh, number two, the um, the in, the, I put, the input impedance in of your op amp is very high. Okay. Um, the you know, the theoretical value is infinite. Okay. It means that at the input side, your your op amp is almost op, an open circuit. Uh, is is almost open circuit on the input side. Okay. That you know, that makes it an ideal um device to take in voltage as input kasi that would also that would ano that would uh, make your ano that would make your um kumbaga parang hindi malo-load yung ano yung op amp mo with ano with uh whatever the source would give it to kasi open circuit siya sa ano sa sa input side Okay. So ayun. Um it has low ano, low output impedance. Okay. So mababa yung output impedance nito. That makes it ideal naman to be ano, to load to be loaded by a ano, by something. Okay. Kasi since mababa yung output impedance niya, okay? Um it uh, it transfers uh, power most to the device. Uh, kasi pag mataas yung impedance dito at niloadan mo yan, okay? pag yung impedance ng load mo at saka nito ay malapit na malapit. Okay, if the, if their impedances are very close. Paghahatian nilang dalawa yung power. Paghahatian ng op-amp niyo at saka ng load niyo yung power, which is not ideal. Um kung maaalala niyo yung maximum power transfer theorem. Okay? Um the maximum power is transferred kapag ka equal yung impedances between uh networks. Okay? And um by the process sabi ko. Ah uh, mag maximize yung power kapag almost equal sila. Okay? Eh since mababa yung ano, mababa yung impedance ng load nyo, dapat mababa rin yung impedance ng ano nung 
uh, op-amps ninyo. Okay? So, that's in accordance with maximum power transfer to your rate. Okay? So, ayun. Yun yung, ano, yun yung maganda sa, sa ano. And then, um, it's, ano, it's uh, gain is very high. Okay? Practical values yan uh, reaches six figures. Mga 100,000. Okay? But this is not a, re a really good, ano, a really good um, characteristic. Dahil, it actually leads, ano, it actually leads your, ano, your uh, op uh, amplifier to uh, non-linearity. Okay? Kasi, una-una, uh, um, kung sobrang taas ng, ano, kung sobrang taas ng gain mo, even a small input here would actually generate, theoretically, a very high output. Kaya lang, yung output mo naman is limited by your supply. So, kung gano'n lang kalaki yung supply dito, yun lang yung maximum na, ano, yun lang yung maximum na, na voltage output ang may bibigay niya. Of course, hindi naman pwedeng magbigay ng ano, magbigay ng 50 volts ang amplifier whose power supply is just 5 volts here and negative 5 volts here. Kasi at the maximum, 10 volts lang yung maximum niya. So, hindi ka bibigay ng 50 volts niya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kapag ka yung input dito causes your, ano, your uh, output to reach 10 volts or above, hindi niya na sa 10 volts. 10 volts na yun forever. Okay. And that is why, kung malaki yung gain dito, okay, if, if your amplifier has a, uh, has a very big gain, then napakalaki rin, ng, ano, napakalaki rin ng range of voltages sa input that would cause this to be non-linear or saturated, basically. Okay. Ang laki nung, ano, ang laki nung uh, range nyo na ang output nyo is plus or minus 10 volts lang. So kahit na konting galaw mo lang dito, constant na kagad sa 10 volts yan. Okay? So, uncontrolled yung gain kapag ka open siya. That is why we actually use, ano, we actually use op-amps in its, ano, in uh, using negative feedback. Kung gusto nyo gamitin ng op-amp as, as, ano, as an amplifier, you deploy negative feedback into it. Okay? Kasi that controls the gain. Which is shown here. Pag, pag, pag kinuha natin yung transfer function nito, at saka yung transfer function nito, uh, basically this is an inverting, ano, Inverting amplifier. Okay. Inverting amplifier siya because the input is on the inverting uh, input. Yung input nyo nasa inverting part, eh, inverting side nung, ano, nung amplifier. Ito naman, non-inverting amplifier. This is non-inverting amplifier. Okay. Because the input is on the non-inverting terminal. Okay. Now, if you actually derive yung ano, yung transfer function nito. Okay. Um nodal kasi yung ano, yung method para makuha natin siya. I'll do it for ano, I'll do it for uh, uh, let's do this for ano, for ay magbubura nga pala. Kaya pala kinuha ko eraser. Uh, let's do this for uh the ano, the inverting ano, inverting side. Pero palakihin ko muna 'to. Tapos burahin ko na rin tong iba. Okay. So, um, pwede natin gamitin ng nodal analysis to. So, um, this node, okay, minus this node, uh, ay, sorry, magsisimula ang nodal analysis by KCL. So, pag kumuha kayo ng KCL dyan, okay, ang i-consider uh, ang i-consider natin node dyan ito. Okay, so, we can see there, in, in that node, that we have I1 plus I2 equals I3. Okay? So that's, that's the first thing that we will, ano, we will have to see in that, uh, in that circuit. Now, what is I1? I1 is um, basically voltage over impedance. Okay? And um, if this is I1, which flows from V1 in, up to this node, uh, VI up to this node, which is V1. <coughs> okay. Sorry. Um... That is um, VI minus V1 over C1. <clears throat> okay. And I2 is basically um, VO minus V1 over C2. Okay. Equals I3. 
Okay? Um, now, what we want to show first is this. Una, if you actually take a good look at, ano, at the characteristics of, ano, of the op-amp, isa sa mga nabanggit was that it has a high input impedance. So op-amp has high input impedance. Okay? And if that if your your if your ano if your device has high input impedance, um, pag pinasukan yun ng current yun, okay? Ay dek, gatuh muna. If if that's high input impedance, essentially, um, this side is open. This is an open circuit, ano? Ah, uh, this essentially is an open circuit. Um, tawag nila yan is virtual open circuit. So virtually, it's an open circuit model. Dahil nga mataas yung input impedance. And if that is an input circuit model, or if that is virtually open, yung I3 nyo, hindi makaka-flow dyan kasi open nga eh. Okay? So kung open yan, hindi makaka-flow yung I3. Therefore, I3 is zero. Okay? So we simply say that I3 equals zero. So pwede natin i-consider yung right side nito as zero. Okay? Also, owing to that, ano, owing to that property, Okay, owing to that property. Um, lalabas ngayon na since open circuit nga ito, yung voltage dito sa, ter sa, sa node na ito uh, is basically the, vo the voltage also in this node. Okay? Equal yung voltage potentials, di, uh, yung potential pala, sorry, dito at saka dito. Equal yung potential dyan. So kung equal yung potential dyan, okay, then we know what V1 is. Okay, since this, the, the potential here, okay, that this potential here is basically zero then because it's connected to the ground, okay, it also turns out that this V1 is also zero. Okay, and so therefore, pwede natin gawing zero to and zero ito. And so that leaves us with um, VI over Z1 plus uh, VO over Z2 equals zero. Ah, sorry. Uh, parang may mali ako. Ay, alam ko na. This should have been, ano, this should have been, ano pala. Sorry. This should have been, um, Without that, that would be anyway. Um, that should have been ano, that should have been VI, a uh, V1 minus VO. So, this, uh, kung is zero ko ngayon to, this should have been negative. So, this is my minus. Okay, now, uh, what we want to, to, ano, to solve for here is the ano, is the transfer function VO of S over VI of S. Okay, and if you actually take it, uh, ah, tama nga, plus to, sorry. <laughs> tama to, plus. Uh, <laughs> tama pala ako kanina. Uh, ha. Yan, so zero to. Okay. So, plus nga siya. And, um, <clears throat> if you solve for V over VI here, I have to Uh, transpose this, the transpose this, uh, uh, wag na lang yan, ito na, yung isa na lang. So instead of that being transposed, ito, uh, yung isa na lang, isang term. So this, transpose natin dito. So that becomes uh, essentially VO over uh, Z2 equals negative VI over Z1. And then solving now for the ratio VO over VI, okay, or VOS over VIS, that should give you um, negative Z2 over Z1. So that is your um, transfer function for inverting amplifier. Bale ito yun. Okay. Now, you can actually derive the same thing with, ano, with non -inverted. Uh, I mean, you can derive the transfer function in the same manner as that of this ano, inverting amplifier. So that should give you this one. Pakiverify na lang. And um, I think na discuss siya dun sa, ano, dun sa recorded video. So... I can, ano, I can refer you uh, to that okay, para sa discussion about this one. 
Pero what essentially we will have to do here is to ano, is to use these two uh, two facts to ano to der to get or to obtain the transfer function for your of amps. Okay? So an example here is this one. Okay? Which is an inverting amplifier kung papansinin niyo yung, yung ano yung kanyang uh, configuration. And then um What we do, okay, is we um, we treat this e entity, okay, as Z1, okay, and then we treat this entity as Z2. Okay, so from the start, we know that the transfer function of this, okay, since this is an inverting amplifier, uh, as negative Z2 over Z1, okay. Now, what needs to be done is to solve Z2 and Z1. And take note that Z1 okay, is the parallel combination of these two. So, in, ano, in essence, that is the parallel combination of R1 okay, and uh, 1 over C1S. So, that is your Z1. While your Z2 is the circuit combination of C2 of um, R2 plus 1 over C2, S. So, isusolve lang natin to. Solve lang natin to. Then, substitute natin siya dito. Then, we have the transfer function. Okay? So, ayun. So, that wraps up yung meeting natin for today. Um, I hope you're still there uh, listening. Pero kung gusto nyo makita yung ano, gusto nyo makita yung um, solution nito. Okay? Ah, uh, nang kumpleto, nandoon siya sa recorded lecture, paki-check na lang. Okay? So, I'll see you next time. Um Sa so let's, let's dismiss the class. Thank you, sir. Uh, out na lang of the meeting ah. Thank you. Thank you po, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.